guide dogs. Hello, welcome in. I'm Alba. Do you want to come and spend the day with me and see how I use technology? So this is my home. We're now making breakfast and waiting um, for the kids to wake up. And this is my husband, Joe. Hi. I'm originally Spanish. Um, so I came to England 10 years ago. And um, I work as an eye care liaison officer at a hospital. And on the days when I'm not working, I get to do all this and spend time with my family. So this is my son, Elliot. He's six and my daughter Amy, who's four. They've just woken up, we're having some breakfast and then they'll get ready for school and I'll be taking them to school this morning. We're a bit tight for time generally, so I ask Alexa, what time is it? Alexa, what time is it? The time is 7.40 a.m. Oh, we've got plenty of time. So these are Amy's polos and the way I recognize them is because we've sewn a button on the label uh, because they, Elias and Amy's polos at the school uniform are exactly the same, so it's much easier if just for quickness I can just have a look at um, the button. We'll brush our teeth and then we'll watch a bit of telly if we've got time and then we'll go to school. Okay, this has come through the post this morning when I was dropping off the kids in school and I have no idea what it is. I'll just quickly check uh, with, with Seeing AI. Seeing AI is uh, an app and it um, can do a, a number of things, but the one thing that I find it very useful for is it reads text and it converts it to speech straight away. So anything that to me just is a piece of paper with no meaning, if I put my phone on it and you see an AI on it, um, I can get an idea of what, what I've got in my hands. Right, I know what this is. This is not junk. I can't put it in the bin. It's Elliot's Lego magazine. So it'll be very cross if I put it in the bin. Uh, he'll be wanting this tonight, so I'm going to keep it safe. I'm going to check what's on the fridge for lunch. And it's actually quite empty. There's nothing in here, nothing in here. We need to do a shopping. I've got Tesco app. Um, it's quite accessible and it's quite easy to use. Um, and I've just got, a, you know, my normal iPhone that I've got voiceover activated on it so I can hear what I'm doing. Open groceries. I can go to my basket. Total of zero items in basket. Guide price is zero pounds. And then I can go to my favourites. Selected. And just shop from the favourite. Tesco finest blueberries 150 G. Blueberries. Go on then. Yes, Elliot likes blueberries. Zero in basket. So I'll add one packet. One in basket. basket. When you're done your shopping, Shuttle you can check out. Check out. Button. I wouldn't describe myself as a techie person by all means, not at all. That's my husband. I'm just an ordinary, normal person, but I use my phone. Amazon Echo as well, um, quite a lot. And that's to do loads of things around the house like the heating, reminders, alarms, switching the lights on and off. I learn new software by practicing. I'm not a person that likes technology. So learning something new takes a while. For example, with my iPhone, I just wanted to throw it out the window because it can be frustrating sometimes. But when you practice and you realize how helpful it is then it just makes more sense so i'm gonna go upstairs and get a little cup of tea for joe who's working from home and i've got tons of laundry to do i've got a full basket so um i'm just gonna do that to help me i have a very old piece of technology which is a collar detector Phones can do the same job, but I am old fashioned and I like to use this. The idea is that you use this to get an idea of what color something is. So you have to put the color detector right next to the clothes and press the button. Blue. I'm confident because my color detector told me that everything in this pile is light. I can just shove it all in there. Then these are the most oldest piece of uh, you know equipment you can get 
um, it's to mark where you're supposed to put your washing machine, your microwave, or you know, people use it on cookers and different things. So I basically only ever use a program which is the shortest, cheapest, easiest, which means it's here. So then I just turn my dial to where the bump on is and then I know where the program is. So on Fridays, Lucia here comes and helps me. This is Lucia. She is my friend and she comes and helps me braille the books, which is a hard and long task that we do uh, on Fridays. Um, a lot of the books I buy are in English and those are in braille, but the Spanish ones, I have to use this machine. It's called a Perkins Brailler. So any books that don't have braille, I have them hidden away. I take them out on Friday and we braille them. What I do is I use the see-through paper and it's sticky. So once I've braille it, Lucia cuts it out to shape. She peels it off and sticks it in the book. It doesn't interfere with the kids seeing the book and looking at the book, but it means that I can read it too. So this is the first page, and we normally have to stick it, Lucia has to stick it at the bottom, because if I'm reading at the top, they get annoyed, the kids, because I'm covering the picture. So I have to read here, and then they can see the picture. Now I can, when I pick up this book, I can tell which book it is, because I can read it. So Jo's just come back from school uh, with the kids and they just want a bit of fun time now. So uh, Elliot's probably going to do some drawing because that's what he likes to do. And Amy is has asked me if we can do a bit of dance. So she's gone upstairs and we've recently been to Spain. So she's got this dress that she loves to wear. Um, so she'll show you. <laughs> So Elliot's a great artist and he really likes drawing. If I want to know what he's drawing, then he will use a little rubber mat that's at the moment is right under what he's drawing. So then when he's finished, the picture is tactile, so I can feel what he's drawn. Ah, esta es la casita. Sí. Me encanta. Vas a continuar un poquito? Uh, creo que ya pero. Simple things like this mat that Ellie was using means that I can do the same as my peers so I can draw, I can look at what my kids are drawing, I can feel at an equal level as other mums and technology, that's what technology does for me. Right, so it's, it's dinner time now nearly, so I, I don't have a lot in the fridge but I found enough stuff to make paella, so I'm just gonna show you how I use my scales. So as I weigh, it will um, tell me how much I'm putting in. That's only 18 grams, I need a lot more than that. So this is the whizzer. So you open it, it's got blades inside. It's great for chopping things really small. So, you know, like cutting onions isn't my favourite thing because it makes you cry, but with this you don't really cry and you whiz it. And it chops it absolutely tiny. So dinner's getting ready, Joe's getting dinner ready and I just wanted to thank you all for joining me and spending the day with me and my advice to anyone starting with the technology journey would be to be patient and be open-minded and be simple so don't complicate things too much. Um, don't think that a very expensive piece of tech is what's going to solve your life. Try something easy first and be patient because it takes a lot of practice sometimes to get it right. Bye! Bye.